Number One Cochrane Sports Showdown is brought to you by Number One Cochrane. Go one better. And by Highmark Blue Cross Blue Shield. Have a greater hand in your health. Another year for the Baseball Hall of Fame, and only one guy gets in. It's David Ortiz, who ironically did test positive for steroids, yet he was well-liked compared to other guys. And so you see Bonds, you see Clemens, you see Sosa, McGuire, those guys apparently are never going to get in. Paul, I want to ask you about this. The guy who oversaw all of this and all this home run love that brought record crowds out and big ratings and all kinds of revenue is in the Hall of Fame, the commissioner, Bud Selig. These guys don't get in. Will that ever change? It's a farce. The whole thing's a farce. We've talked about it all the time. And, and the fact that Selig is in and Bonds and company aren't is exactly what they deserve so that we all can see what a farce it absolutely is. And I'll add this. All of the people that are on the moral high ground not voting for Barry Bonds now, how many of them voted for him for MVP like five years in a row? It's a joke. And here's the thing. It's, it's, if, he, if they don't get in with the Veterans Committee, right, then they should just blow the whole thing up because I don't know what to tell you. If Bonds and Clemens aren't Hall of Famers, then there's no Hall of Fame. <laughs> The moral of the story here, guys, is make sure that you're nice to the media That's and not exactly a big it. jerk like Barry Bonds was or Roger Clemens was. If you're a nice guy to the media, you too can be Joe Nathan and get a vote this year for the Hall of Fame by somebody who didn't vote for Bonds or Clemens. Ortiz is the case study here, though. I mean, he smiled, nice guy, actually had a positive test. Everybody liked him, so he still got in. Bud Selig being in when any of these guys aren't in is a complete farce, like Paul said. I couldn't have said it better. It's a joke. Bud Selig shouldn't be in if they're not in. I wish they could take him out of the Hall of Fame and melt down his bust. <laughs> and by the way, we all know Barry took steroids, but if I'm not mistaken, he never actually tested never. positive on any. Neither did Clemens. Neither did Clemens. No, they were allowed to play. They were on the field. The league allowed them to play. Like, how can we ignore that? I, I, don't, I know Barry's not the most charming guy in the world, but we all know people in the Pittsburgh media who dealt with Barry. And some of them hate his guts, and some of them, to this day, will not vote for him. He's the greatest baseball player I've ever seen, and it's really not even Same. close. And yeah. I, think, I think we can all agree on that. Um, I, I don't lose any sleep about who goes into a Hall of Fame. It's just it's lost all credibility to me. But the fact that he and Clemens aren't in, it's comical. The 11% that voted for Ortiz – and not bonds, <laughs> that's astounding to me. Yeah, it is. All right, gentlemen, thank you. It's never going to change, it appears, and it should change because it's time. They're allowed to play. Their stats are there. All of that's recognized by the Hall of Fame except them them themselves. My dog All could right. do a better job voting for it, Pomp, and he's right here if you want him to do that, actually. Just bark. Go ahead. <laughs> Give us a barking endorsement. <laughs>